C major arpeggio is based on the first, third and fifth notes of the C major scale. Here's the scale. Here's the first, third and fifth note. Here it is in the right hand, the arpeggio spanning one octave. I'll use the fingers one, two, three, and then I'll come to C at the top with finger five. So that's the C major arpeggio, up and down now. Again. Now if I'm doing it like this, I can add circular motion. Now I'm not staying outstretched with finger five here. I'm just kind of loosely, my fingers, my hands are quite large, so I'm actually loosely over the B, but you may be over the, over the A with finger five. Now over to C and back again, using circular motion there. Now, if we go over two octaves, then we'll start in the same place using the same fingering, one, two, and three. At the point where I would use finger five, I simply tuck my thumb under onto the C and do the same again. Finger five on the top C and back down again over. Watch again, so it's fingers one, two, three, thumb under, notice how my thumb is moving straight away, so I'm not leaving my hand in this position, so practice this slowly. I'm not doing this. You'll always get a bump there or an accent if you do it like that. Look how I'm moving. Now pivoting on the thumb as we did with the scales. descending. Look at where the position is of my thumb. I'm not here. This will make it much more awkward to get over if I'm here. With four arms parallel to the floor, I can get over nice and easily. Now with the left hand, Start, don't start too high up here because you're then across your own body there. It's, it's much more cramped to work. Um, so start, say, two octaves below or an octave below middle C. Here I'm starting two octaves below. Um, start with finger five. We're going to go up first and then down. And this, I'll do one octave first. I'm going to use fingers five, four, and two. Um, this is a, a quite a frequent chord. C major like this and you're much more aligned with finger four on finger four on E. Try to avoid finger three on E. It's much more awkward even for large hands to play like this. Finger four is much easier. That's one octave. Use circular motion. Now two octaves, look at where my thumb is, now finger four comes over, I'll do that again, now over. 
coming down. Same thing as one, two, four. One, two, four. Look how my thumb's already there. It's not again waiting here. It's really now in the wrong place. Now see, circular motion is something we would do if it was one octave. But if you're doing two octaves, it's more of a lateral movement. And that's C major arpeggio.